Okay, today we're gonna talk a little bit about 70 to 72 Chevelle and Monte Carlo dashes. All right, first I wanna give you a little bit of a backstory on these dashes, okay? 70 is when this style came out and a Chevelle, you would have had a full grain finish like this. A Monte Carlo had a wood grain finish like this that's a bezel that goes over the top okay 70 and 71 they drilled a ton of holes here 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 all over to hold that bezel on okay <clears throat> 72 they quit doing that and they just started holding it on with uh silicone as you can see this is a 72 dash and it don't have any holes but it's got a seatbelt light. This dash was uh, trash, so that's why I'm using it for parts. Okay, now we're explaining a little bit here. This, I bought at the swap meet on Saturday, and it came out, from what I was told, a 72 Monte Carlo. And it would indicate that to be true from not having so many holes. But here's the problem. I bought a, a dash out of a 72 one time, an early production 72, and I popped the wood grain off. Not only did it not have a seatbelt light, it didn't have any holes at all in the dash. A uh, very desirable piece, if you find one like that. This dash here is somewhere around the middle of the road. This dash didn't have holes here, 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 or here, but it had a big hole here, a small one here and a hole here. So here's what we're doing. I've taken a piece of this dash and whittled it down, probably it's taking about 20 or 30 minutes per hole here, and putting in a piece of another dash and using um, JB Well Minute Epoxy. The fun part is on a, on a regular Monte Carlo dash, this is always drilled, okay? This parts dash I had was a 72. So it didn't have any holes and it was a trash dash. So I was able to use the piece out of that dash and graft it into this one. And once this dash has died back, I don't think you're gonna be able to tell it it's ever fixed. I've got one little hole to fix here and I've got two more little holes to fix here. That is not gonna be a big deal at all. Uh, you could also, people's had good luck with building up the uh, hole and then taking a piece of this as it starts to dry and poke it to give it its grain pattern. But I've had better luck actually using the actual pieces of dash. Okay, the reason I wanted to show this, show this is kind of the process of how this is done. This is the first time I've ever filled this many holes. I had a true 70 Chevelle dash one time that had a hole drilled in it for a toggle switch that I fixed. But um, this is one of those middle of the road late 71 well this is a 72 car but when they started to change over and quit using the clips to hold the wood grain on the next depending on the assembly plant some of these dashes in this era of model cars in 72 which would have been probably between august and i'm gonna say october would have not had any holes at all and this would have been like striking gold that's swap meet but this is next thing to it because I'm going to fix this dash and we'll dye it black. It's going to look like new and it can be sold as a 70 to 71 SS Chevelle dash. Um, and I don't think you'll be able to tell that it's ever been fixed. Um, if somebody gets their face, you know, up that close, they may be able to tell. But looking, walking by and looking in the car, it's going to be pretty, pretty close. And like I said, that's pretty convincing there. And that's just a piece of stuff and epoxy. Once this is, uh, I'm going to wipe up some of the excess epoxy, and once this is dyed with a black sim dye all over, and these lines, I may redo these lines, may not, with the silver, this is going to be a nice dash. Uh, so, again, if you attempt to do something like this yourself, uh, find you an old piece of dash and uh, just, just give it a try. Um, if you mess it up, well, you can always use the wood grain bezel from a Monte Carlo and just paint it black or whatever. Um, but this dash is going to live on as a Chevelle dash. I've also had, I have been tempted to actually use it myself in my hot rod car and do away with the wood grain. But 
be able to have an original dash. Uh, as most of you will know, the aftermarket dashes uh, suck. Uh, the grain is incorrect. There's nothing about them that's right. So uh, the originals are getting hard to come by. But anyway, that's all for today. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll do another video when I get this dash done and painted. And you'll be able to go back and watch and kind of see uh, how good a job I've done. So uh, like, share, comment. If you have any questions, let me know.